Go! The fastest way to get into Bible study using Logos is to start right here on the home page. You go up to the Go box and type in the passage that you want to study. Let's say we want to look at Romans 5.12. Now, you can use a number of different shortcuts, abbreviations. I'm just going to type the whole word out here. You'll notice right away that it begins to list out a series of possible passages or pericopes that you want to look at, but let's just hit go. This drops you into the default Bible study setup, and it is composed of these five different panes um, by default. You didn't have to set this up. Starting over here on the left side of your screen, you'll have both the passage guide and an exegetical guide. The passage guide is a lot of information about the passage or the topic that you're looking at. The exegetical guide is for language study. This is going to be for word study, Greek or Hebrew, depending on which part of the Bible that you're looking at. So Romans 5.12, we've got these resources in my library that I can look up and some other references here. Here are my Bibles. This is by default going to show you your top five Bibles here. So I have my NIV 84, which is my default study Bible, the Greek text in the UBS version here, my ESV, my NASB, and the NIV, this is the 2011 version so that I can compare the two. In this lower passage down here is my default uh, commentary or my default reference book here. Again, it's linked back up automatically through the A link set. And so as I scroll through this, this will scroll as well. Down here is a series of Bibles that I line up side by side. Uh, again, by default, it's using my standard set here, but you can change this to see whatever it is you want. And up here is an interesting little window. You see right now there's nothing showing here. Let's say we want to find out more about sin. So we camp over the word. As I move my cursor, you see if I go to entered, it reloads. And this just gives you some information about the word. You see the English translation, I'm sorry, the English definition. Uh, you see your Greek word and uh, some other information about the text. Hard to believe, but perhaps the NIV 1984 isn't your cup of tea. If you go back here on your home screen, you'll notice that you have the option to set your preferred study Bible. So let's say I became a Johnny Mac acolyte. I would click here and change the ESV to be my standard Bible. Now when I go and ask for that study, it's going to re-prepare the screen, placing the ESV in my primary position here. Not a big change since the NIV is right next to it, but again, you choose where it is you want to study God's Word from. If you're familiar with modern software, you'll understand that the interface is largely malleable. That is, you can change the size according to what it is that you want to accomplish within your software. So you need a little bit more room for your Bible. You can push your passage guide and cramp it up a little bit to the side. Another thing that you can do is to open something like this up in a much bigger fashion so you can line your verses up side by side. This text comparison, where you can lay the lines up next to one another in your different versions, uh, opens up a really interesting way of looking at the Bible. We see, for instance, that the ESV is listed out in this fashion, but notice the difference here. In the NIV 84, the translators have elected to use entered, 
rather than came into, as you see, came into here. Now, you can, if you have some facility with Greek, you can compare that against the actual text, but I'll show you an easier way to do that. And again, we can compare the NIV 84 against the NIV 2011. Since this is the Bible that I used to preach from, I can make sure that all the words are in the same place. We notice another interesting difference here. We notice here that in 84, anthropos, this word right here, anthropos was translated as men. The more modern versions, I believe the 2008 and then the 2011, have translated that word as people, uh, more in line with humankind. So that opens up a little bit more insight into the way that the translators are viewing the language, and it gives you a little bit deeper meaning. No longer can we claim this is just a patriarchal statement. This is meant to include all people, male and female, just the way God made them in Genesis. The Quick lookup facility from the home page is not limited to just a verse or passage. You can also do topical lookups here as well. Let's say we are listening to the news tonight and all they talk about is the election. So let's see what God's word has to say about the topic, the theological topic of election. We type that in, hit the go button, and look what we get. We get a series of topical readings from your library about uh, what the Bible says about election, the theological topic of election. You can reference any of these as necessary just by clicking on them. It gives you a list of verses in which it's referenced. And in fact, it takes you to the Bible for the first reference to that particular topic. So here we have in Deuteronomy, For you are a holy people, the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. Amen. And then a series of reference books down here are opened up to that topic. So with one word and one click of the go button, Logos has already put you miles ahead of combing through your library, looking through the indexes of the book to see if this dictionary or that dictionary has something useful for you, piling them up on your desk, and then reading them one by one. Here it is, efficient and ready to go, ready for you to soak up the truth of God's word. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.